Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to do another crappy jig. Again, it's on a 1 16th ounce minnow head with a size 4 eagle claw, a uh, little nasty sickle hook. And the pattern is going to be something I call um, my super G, uh, which means super generic. And going to see if we could see the color here. It's basically a generic minnow pattern. Uh, gray side, black top, and a little bit of white in the belly. Uh, real simple powder paint deal. And uh, we're going to get started here with some 140 denier flat wax nylon thread and white. And we'll get our base started. Yeah, I didn't know what I was going to do with this when I came up with it uh, about five years ago. And I said, you know, it's just a generic minnow pattern. And a friend of mine said, yeah, but you're using more than one color like that. And it's different. I said, yeah, okay, I'll call it a, a super generic. And then just shorten it to super G. That's how the name of that became, came to be. So, yeah, I hit that hook point. And I flared that thread out a little bit. That's all right, though, because I just want a big base on this because of the material I'm going to be using. So we're going to use Arctic Fox body hair. And I know there's some confusion out there. So this is black Arctic Fox body hair. It comes on a patch like this. And you can see about how long the hair is. This is really nice stuff. It's really fine. It's very wispy. Um, a good substitute for this would be craft fur. This is Arctic Fox tail. It comes in these rings. And the hair is a lot longer. It's a lot stiffer has real good action. Again, you would substitute craft fur for this, but it's a little bit, um, it's a little stiffer than craft fur, but it's it's real easy to work with. Great action to water. You've all seen me use this stuff before, but that's the difference. I mean, the, the hair length and the way you, when you buy this stuff, the way it comes. Body hair, tail. There is a difference. So we got our base started, and the first thing we're going to add is some gray Arctic Fox body hair. And I'm going to put that about an inch, three quarters of an inch to an inch behind the hook point. I'm going to tie that in. And I want it that it goes all the way around the hook. As you can see, I cut that short so I was able to work it all the way up without having to cut anything off. I want that tied in nice and tight because if you don't, this material can pull out on you. So now we got our gray Arctic Fox body hair. Now we're going to take some white Arctic Fox body hair. We're just going to lay it in there along the bottom. And now you got to hold on to this so you don't spin it all the way around the hook because you only want it on that bottom portion. Let me tie it up to the head. I'm going to cut the excess off. Again, you want it lashed down pretty good so you don't have any issues with it pulling out. I'm going to flip it up. And we're going to put in that black Arctic Fox body hair. And again, I cut this ahead of time just uh, to save some, some time. So 
you're not bored to death watching me hack these pieces off because that's the, actually the hardest part of this. And just like the white, you want to hold it there while you make a couple wraps to make sure it stays on pla in place that you don't spin it all the way around the hook because you want that on top. And I'm just going to cut the little bit of excess off. Just got to make sure I grab it all. And you look pretty good. Now for our flash. I'm going to use Polar Flash. This is a really cool color. It's called Black Rainbow. It's black um, and it's got all kinds of, there's blue and pink and gold shimmers in this. Really nice. What I used to do for this pattern is I used just plain old black uh, Crystal Flash, which I like. The Black Pearl Crystal Flash is really nice. But uh, again, I'm liking this Polar Flash the more I use it. But I still tie it. I still tie this pattern with black crystal flash as well. Depends on the mood strikes me or not. I'm using this polar flash a lot lately, just because uh, it's newer to me. I only been using it for about a year, and um, I really, really like it. And again, this is two full strands, so I'm gonna keep working it until I got none left, till the pieces are too short that I can't use it anymore. As long as the tail, or a little longer. This stuff actually moves very well in the water, so... Uh, that's another nice property of this stuff. But the shimmer and color in it, um, it just, it's so natural. It's just really nice stuff to use. I know I keep going on, I sound like a broken record, but I really, really like the Polar Flash. And one more time. And we only got a tiny little bit of waste. It's perfect. And then I'm going to tie this all the way in and back again. And now we're going to use, this is a medium sized variegated chenille. I pull the ends off just like I always do. It's black and white variegated chenille. And all that is, is just a regular rayon chenille with black and white segments. We got that tied in. And now we'll just wrap our chenille. And of course, I double wrap it up here just to get that little bit of extra taper on the body. And that's just me. It's just because I like that look. And now we'll whip finish. Two, three, four, five, and six. Cinch it. Cut our thread. Now we're going to use a little loon water based head cement. And I'm going to use a bodkin to apply it. 
and it's going to dip it in there and run my bodkin around. And that's it for that. And I'll get it out here and show you what we have. Of course, I got to hook my clamp on. And there it is. Your Arctic Fox body hair super G crappy jig. Try to show it to you from all angles. Every which way. But look at that. Tell me that ain't a nice profile. And the Arctic Fox body hair works really well in the water. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.